scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Broken. They will tell you about cities like Spokane. They will tell you about several places. Once upon a time, Europe was the center of revival. Are we together? Fire was burning all across the length and the breadth of those territories. And now you would hardly, hardly thank God for the things that are happening. There was a time in the city of Welch, there was a revival that broke out. Men and women caught fire just by reading the move of God on a newspaper. People received impartations, they got born again, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Growths disappeared from people just reading about a revival. But the system of preservation was not there. So our history books are full of the moves of God. Mighty things. Dimensions that our generation has not even entered into. But then most of them, the lifespan of that extent of impact was the lifespan of the one who pioneered that move. Usually with the death or the backsliding of the pioneer, the move dies. And dies to a point that it is buried and there is no monument in that territory that testifies that God once moved. Everybody shout God forbid. God forbid. There must be ordinances preserved that in life or in death they will know once upon a time God, God moved across this nation, moved across this city and there are testaments, not just physical buildings and monuments but a heritage a spiritual heritage that has refused to leave when you travel across the west i travel across these areas a lot and i am profoundly touched at how they respect monuments that remind you of certain notable events that once happened in those regions it could be places of worship it could be physical monuments it could be lots of things i remember one time a few years ago when kogi and pastor alpha was taking us around and we we're seeing some of the monuments they showed me certain places where wars happened they showed me certain historical things there must be a system of preserving not just the the heritage of being a christian but the extent to which god moved must also be captured it is important that our children know that not only were we christians we were men of fire it, it must is important that our children must know that once upon a time a preacher can be preaching and the power of god can touch someone miles away let me tell you something when satan finds out that it is difficult for him to capture a generation he gives up on that generation and goes to our children and starts growing with them satan can be patient for as long as the generation that has sponsored god's move fades away so he will be silent and sometimes we will mistake his silence as our breakthrough in the spirit not knowing that it's an intentional deceit for many years he can be quiet until those who were at the hallmark of alignment allowing the purposes of god to be birthed either through old age or whatever exhaustion when they fade away then he grows with a generation a generation that do not know god a generation that does not know Pharaoh again. A generation that does not know Joseph. Today, there are certain buildings 
that were one centers of revivals they are clubs today do you know why there was no system of preserving the move of God that once upon a time this was a place of encounter it was a place where people would run to God with their challenges and roll up and down in Zaria here there have been physical locations that because of the extent of the incense that arose to heaven and the sacrifices that conveyed those times they became portals literally but many things have happened to them oh yeah oh oh That there is a way you have been trained to call upon the name of the Lord and one day you will watch your child in limbo and confusion you have not taught him what secret did you carry that made your ministry prosper now your son is 22 years are you not surprised at the children of some of those who pioneered moves and you are wondering what happened where did the power go to they asked him, why did you not receive from Elijah? What happened? There are mantles and graces that are still on earth but are not available for use because the system of preservation and transference was not there. The West is full of great prophetic movements. Many of them died at infancy largely due to illiteracy and a quick capture of hell however there is still a heritage of the eyes that can see and the ears that can hear there are still those moves are we together yes our soils and territories are full of stories you meet an old man and he tells you it was in this location one day rain was falling everywhere but you see this house you are looking at that is now a beer parlor rain did not fall there and then you ask who was there they said there was one white man we don't know his name we just know that he came from america and spent two weeks there the moment he left people started falling under the anointing on the street where then is that mantle what was the formula nobody was taught he left or died and you find out that in that territory the most powerful person hardly knows God. Guessing all around. We must preserve the curriculum, a portion for us to know God. My generation must know the God I know, not the God they want to know. They must understand his power to the extent to which we allowed him move. And this is what this teaching is aimed at providing us. To open us up to the systems in the spirit that are responsible for proof for preserving divine ordinances so that one day these little kids playing around that little boy can hold the mic and say I remember the name my father called God when I wanted him to heal, to heal people there was a song my father raised every time the power of God was about to move Whenever I saw my father close his eyes, I understood the meaning. If we ignore our children, we are going to destroy a generation. Most of our parents will tell you, they attended T.L. Osborne's crusade. Correct? They attended most of these crusades. They will tell you what happened. Some of the generals, some of our parents went abroad at the times of those movements. And they had the privilege to go to those cathedrals. They saw raw power. They saw prophecy. They saw grace. They saw transformation beyond the church walls. And today they sit down with sicknesses ravaging them. And you say, Daddy, do you believe God? He says, I remember, I remember. In 1971, I remember dear lost one crusade. What happened? Preservers of the ordinances of God. Are we blessed? 
I have done my best to study revivals and to study the life of the generals. And every time I study, I see gaps. Gaps between one generation and another. What did Smith Wigglesworth know that we do not know? What did Catherine Kuhlman know that we do not know? Even if they made mistake, what wrong did they do? We are not even, we, we, we only talk about the mistakes. We don't say what, if people walk at that dimension and they still slipped, will it not be wise to find out? If I were alive in the days of the generals, I would not yet be qualified to hold a mic. I will be a chief usher with the level of spiritual development now that we brag around and make noise about you would dare not hold the mic in those days no read the bible and see those who worked in welfare departments the welfare department of the early apostles were the crusaders of our generation if you were ever given an opportunity to speak to people the number of the prophetic eyes that screened you and all of them would have to unanimously pass you when you study the history of the move of God in Nigeria that was how men like Apostle Babalola were detected they were not detected by desire it took the eyes of the spirit and the supervision of a very strong apostolic council that knew God not you don't come and lie and talk nonsense with fake visions Are we together? John G. Lake had those we call healing technicians. The condition to be qualified to be called a healing technician was that for starters, when you came, they would give you a sick body and give you 30 days. How many days? Any sick body, whether one leg and the other amputated, that's not the issue. Whatever allocation reaches you, your assignment is to turn that dead body to a miracle. 30 days if you could not heal that person within 30 days John Lake will politely tell you we have seen you are trying but please go and join the congregation very simple Spokane became the healthiest city in the world because one man but the question is not the impact the question is the transference where is it Where is it? It was said about E.W. Kenyon, great man of faith, that that man raised the dead at will. Raising the dead that we talk so much about was a normal occurrence. Are we together now? There was a time a tractor broke the legs of a farmer and pieces the bones like pieces your leg is pieces and when that happened the bible says well not the bible history says that um what's his name now Kenyon came and just looked at the legs and the bones began you know i the book of ezekiel like that the man's leg not gradual healing right there and he says stand up and go away a man a man died during the time of St. Patrick for six months how many months six months when St. Patrick got there he wrote his signature wrote his signature on the grave and said they should open it they brought the man alive these were men who knew the ordinances of God there are levels of spiritual manifestations you cannot guess. The level of accuracy required to produce that outcome does not allow guessing. Are we together? One of the Catholic priests, they were building a cathedral and the wood stopped and there was no money to complete it. Go and read your history. He held the wood and, co and just continued moving. And that was how it kept elongating. Today, if a little leg grows out of another, people shout around and say, how are we sure? What a shame on us. We have lost a, a, a manuscript. 
that was freely given to a generation that made illiterate ordinary men and women do business with God hallelujah I had the opportunity to meet prophet Kobus before I went to be with the Lord and I remember having a conversation with him and he was telling me what Lester Sumrall told him about what Smith Wigglesworth told Lester Sumrall and some of the moves of God and some of the prophecies that would come in our generation and I was stunned Smith Wigglesworth told Lester Sumrall he said look make sure you don't die with your anointing find young men who are serious and transfer it to them preservers of the ordinances of God once upon a time Apostle Babalola was thirsty and there was no water he understood a key and he opened the heavens and water came out of a rock ha. brothers and sisters this is not the realm of trial and error these men were custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom are we together Archbishop Benson Idahosa went round the world as an African no land could resist him I remember one time Benny Hinn was laying hands on people and he got to Archbishop Benson Idahosa and he removed his cap when Benny Hinn touched him he fell under the anointing and he put his cap back he said thank God it was an African that drew you I remember one crusade that they were having together with Benny Hinn and Benny Hinn was praying trying to charge the atmosphere and rain wanted to fall it also came and collected the mic he said rain is falling those who are sick lay your hands there there was no time to waste he didn't answer whether they had faith or not he understood a system to force their miracle a guy's face was bent and he came to him for healing and he said look up and the guy looked up he said God this is your image if this is how you look leave this man like that <laughs> custodians of the ordinances now some of you it's a shame that some of us are just hearing this for the first time yet this is our spiritual heritage when you start training children from primary school you teach something called social studies you teach them the history of their nation you teach them the advantages of being a citizen of that nation why you are preserving that sense of nationhood we have lost that sense of spiritual nationhood we do not understand the extent and that's why our faith is not strong because we are not familiar with the dealings of God today someone is favored in one month he becomes prosperous and we shout about it we insult fathers of faith for buying just a little land have you not read about alexander the way he was not elected but he was the spiritual mayor of illinois he built a city single-handedly he was not just a prophet he was a multi-millionaire it was said his wealth was so mysterious people became afraid he built a city well his opinions were had their issues here and there but he built a city with a hospital in it today is still called zion city in illinois you get there once he was 12 on the dot everywhere around the city you had to stop and pray once upon a time catherine kuman was teaching and someone came into the meeting sorry maria woodward eater was teaching and someone came and was laughing at her and the moment she was laughing at her she said god judge you her tongue swallowed up immediately to be bigger than the size of her head after three days of prayer warriors praying that tongue refused to go down and they advised the person to come and apologize we came before the church and apologized to her she laughed and slapped the tongue it went down in their presence are we together these people it was their life it was not sure. William Branham would stand for hours and watch a congregation and not say anything because he said he was waiting for his angel to come. You say you are seeing angels today, they say you are diabolic. You collected power from somewhere. This guy stood and did not do anything. 
and then eventually all of a sudden a physical wind will start blowing in the church physically and all of a sudden you say here comes the angel and turn and start giving a level of word of knowledge and prophecy that very few people on earth will ever get there there is no mortal man on earth now I know who is working in William Branham's dimension of prophetic accuracy they did not have videos to capture their meetings strange manifestations but something happened as powerful as these moves are the children had the opportunity to learn without guessing they had the opportunity to learn without trying with the little dimension of grace that God has exposed to me I've had the privilege of teaching people with a level of accuracy according to what God has given and have watched a reproduction imagine that you were mentored by Smith Wigglesworth imagine he told you what God taught him imagine what happened to him when he went to heaven imagine that he told you imagine that you stood side by side with him they brought somebody with a condition called an alligator skin where a skin the top skin had rot and they brought him before A.A. Allen A.A. Allen looked at him and laid his hands and removed the old skin like that like you remove another hand and a new hand appears and he threw it away Jaco, one of the greatest manifestors of the faith of God I watched this it's not like they told me they brought someone with cancer and he sat down on a chair he looked at the neck he held the cancer and removed it did you hear what I said not that he held it and it went down he removed it everybody see I'm holding it shame on the devil in Smith Wigglesworth book his own confession that one time a spirit appeared in his room devils appearing in his room and the room was shaking and rocking and he came out when he came out he looked at the parlor and he saw a spirit sitting and he turned back don't waste my time he went to go and sleep not pray not fast not bind sleep I thought it was an angel that brought a message but since it's you Satan enjoy the chair and go back this is not I claim I am powerful and uh -uh. this is a settled this is truly the seated in heavenly places mentality we are missing something the little we have been able to capture is what we are bragging with but there must be a system and while we trust God that the spirit of God who opened them up to those portals will open us also to those portals listen in as much as we are trusting God for those dimensions hear me we must start taking cognizance of the system of preserving spiritual heritages do you know the mystery that governs the move of God in koinonia do you know why the power of the Holy Spirit moves so lavishly it's not just because an anointed man is holding the mic there is a formula will we go with this thing and shine alone and enjoy alone and build empires alone or are we going to translate these things so that someone somewhere will enter another meeting in a city and all of a sudden just holding the mic you are just saying blessed be the name of the Lord and you engage that mystery and you watch people rising from wheelchairs you are not this is not trial and error that you are moving in a dimension of power and grace and illumination preservers of spiritual ordinances let me tell you the truth don't believe everybody is trying this thing there are people who have received as a blueprint the ordinances are portioned to them as a level they know it they can operate it any day any time and it will not fail regardless of what the limitations are you must understand this these things are ordinances they are given it's like a manuscript that the Spirit of God gives you you use it anywhere it will work and no devil there is a mystery that casts out devils it's not just go go no to draw from me you again again we've come to draw
out. There are ordinances. Sit down, please. There are ordinances that are given to people. Now, please sit down. I'm just doing a recap on last week's teaching. Listen. The Bible tells us that the physical things we see on earth are an adumbration, a prophetic depicting of the way the realm of the spirit works. That means you can look at your physical environment and understand how the, the realm of the spirit works. Now the earth is distributed territorially. There is the concept of governance and territory. Is that true? Every territory has a system of governance. Every territory, listen carefully, has mineral resources. This is how it is spiritually. God's design and ordination is such that he distributed his dimension to every territory. There is a curriculum of God that the men and women of God in every territory must be able to bring down and supply the people in that territory. Otherwise, there is a kind of growth that will never be experienced. The reality of having spiritual platforms in every territory where the purposes of the kingdom is not only taught but brought is one of the keys I taught you. I taught you last week, listen carefully, that kingdom advance is territorial. Although the mandate is global, but the approach is per territory. So God apportions a territory like Zaria and commits to us and the assignment is he says there is a dimension of me that i want the people who are within this soil to know and understand and then he searches for men and mandates them to align in a way and manner that allows him to reveal that your marking in the spirit is based on how much of that dimension was safely brought and revealed to the people You can know whether God has a system that represents his presence in the territory. You can always know. You don't need to find out how many churches. No. You don't need to find out how many men of God. No. It is a, it is a, a spiritual way of discerning. One of it is the extent of the dispensing of the mysteries of the kingdom. And a system that preserves it. There is a way our fathers prayed and got results. Many young people pray, but we pray anyhow and pray the way we wanted. Because nobody mentored us in the art of prayer. How yes, we were mentored to spend long hours and dissipate energy shouting. But these guys had, there was a mystery. Elijah was up the mountain and they brought a band of 50 people. And he said, if I be a man of God. Job was frustrated in his life. Job said, God, I need you here. And God came. What formula did Job use to invoke God? And God came. The Bible never said, God said, me. God appeared. Job, you called me. The wife of Job said, curse God and die. That word is mysterious. That means there is a code you can speak on earth and die immediately. He said, cause God and die. Not that means it's within your power. You know the formula for death. Job, you know it. Why don't you end your life? And Job said, no, I still want to live. Please understand what I'm teaching. What was the formula? There is something that men can say from earth to heaven. And their life ends immediately. That's what the wife of Job was saying. Do it. And Job said, no, 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 no. These are my contemplations. These are the things that keep me pursuing God passionately 
regardless of the little results here and there you must bench yourself by a high standard so that no matter what happens you are you are rated by a standard that is higher than the existing standard in your generation it's not pride it is a simple search to press into a depth of god and deliver to a generation it's not for the purpose of making a name there were mysterious secrets of wealth hidden in the bible the bible is full of people who tapped into a dimension of supply that we are just trying to learn cities came out of recession overnight those ordinances are still available when elisha took the mantle of elijah he struck it in a way that the river divided the river never divided for elijah or elisha the river divided for whoever had that grace and that includes you if we stood before the red sea today we'll call architects to build bridges those guys say pass that thing and let's go <coughs> if god tells me to ask him one thing i will say lord please take me in a vision to ancient egypt i want to see the display of the power of god through moses i just want to be led like ezekiel and watch and watch moses in that temple and watch pharaoh look at him and watch the the stench of witchcraft and a man comes immune for moses was not afraid for himself he was on assignment Kai. these people were strange men no wonder hebrews said the earth was not worthy of them when you mention those we think the earth is not worthy of now we mention mother teresa mandela the earth is worthy of them there are people the bible says the earth is not worthy in other words they did the earth a favor by passing. They were not ordinary men. When we get to heaven, we will see the constituents of their design. They only carried bodies that were young. There had to be an ancient mystery inside them. And the Bible says on the count of that, the earth is not worthy of them. We shared a few things. That would help us let me run through them and then we'll finish up we didn't finish last week and my assignment is to finish it today and then we'll pray that number one the first key to advancing and preserving the move of god in a territory is a system of consistent prayer everybody say prayer and not just random need driven prayer the ministry of warfare and intercession must never go out of fashion if we want to preserve the move of God in a territory. The ministry of intercession and warfare. Now I know that we come from different places and we all have different ideas about warfare and the rest but let me tell you one truth. Based on the authority of the word of God, the Bible never left us in the dark as to the fact that territories have controlling powers apportioned to them and nobody prevails over a territory until you sustain capacity to subdue the powers that control a territory when you see people thrive in a territory listen carefully it is not because the power of darkness is not there it's because they have sustained a system to keep them at bay are we together let me tell you one big secret about koinonia listen to me if you find yourself in this place that you come and sit down with koinonia half of your miracle has already happened believe me i know this sounds like pride forgive me if it sounds so that you were able to successfully leave your house if god opens your eyes to see the warfare that happens have you not seen people come and sit down and immediately praise and worship starts they feel like easing themselves to go no there are spirits walking behind the scene because someone's miracle is about to come someone's life is about to change all of a sudden a stranger starts calling somebody just when prayer is about to start no sir they are not normal every service in koinonia is warfare that's why we never come into any service casual we start praying from the week the prayer department is praying every department is praying i'm praying everyone is praying 
and when we come you see the things that the power of God does and you are wondering no Satan is also watching he is shocked at how he's resisted are we together you are not going to build that house just because you think you have money when all the economics are ready the realm of the spirit must be taken care of are we together just because a brother sees you and he likes you and you go back carelessly thinking you are fine is a is a joke in this wicked world that we live in you lie down to sleep and a strange woman appears to you and say in case they have not told you let me tell you that i've been here for a long time I am the one who has stopped all the 11 ladies in your family from marriage and not even you will do it. And you get up and say, well, it's just a, a, a nice dream. And you take orange juice and you find out that the day the brother said he wants to see your people, his business scattered overnight. His life scattered overnight. One ear refused to hear. And the guy says, no, I've not even married you and this is happening. And he just finds his way quietly. But those who understand that every territory must have men and women who settle realities in the realm of the spirit. You engage strong warfare and intercession. At all times, not just when you have a dream about danger. Sometimes when you have that dream, it may be too late. The Bible says to be instant in season. He spake a parable to the end that men ought always, always shakata always to pray one of the greatest assets you can teach your child is the ministry of prayer and intercession that's why i love it when our children join us when we are praying let them join they may be playing and mimicking the tongues just leave them one day you will be surprised to hear that they laid hands on their classmates in the play class the power of god does not care which hand whether the hand is the hand of a young child or an adult the moment that hand is aligned the power of god will flow through it are we together number two i taught us that the second key to preserving the ordinances of god in a territory is the regular convergence of believers the regular convergence of believers within that territory Believers must have systems of regular convergence for the purpose of training, for the purpose of building, for the purpose of mentoring, and for the purpose of receiving the current blueprint of the Spirit. He that hath an ear, not everybody has that ear. Let him hear what the Spirit saith, what he's saying, not what he said. One of the worst things that can happen to you is to be where God was. You must follow him. If he moves this way, that is your destiny. If he moves this way, that is your destiny. The moment you isolate yourself from him, then he's no longer a shepherd and all of a sudden things start going wrong in your life. Number three, an open display of real miracles signs and wonders we cannot preserve the emphasis listen 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 believers hear me this has nothing to do with being called into the miracle ministry if you want men to have memories of the moves of god there must be supernatural manifestations of the power of god beyond the four walls of the church healings and miracles testimonies per second per second that remind people that God is alive are we together someone wants to laugh at God and he just sees a car that should have a ghastly motor accident and God delivered them immediately the person remembers you see him say thank God oh thank God when a when a territory forgets God then there are hardly experiences that keep him in their minds we must emphasize God through miracles, signs, and wonders and keep people aware of Him. When you see Coca-Cola every day, it's enshrined in your mind. You know how Coke looks like. Educated or not, the moment they say Coca-Cola, we all know it. That's how it must be. So that even an unbeliever outside, when he hears people singing, God is a miracle worker. 
he won't lie that he does not understand the meaning of that song he may not be born again but we have institutionalized the power of god in a territory it becomes impossible for people to mock god there may be critics but they know the truth jesus walked upon the earth he moved in such dimension of power and grace although the scribes criticized him in the day nicodemus came by night john 3 and said rabbi we know he didn't say i know all of us those critics we know the truth we know that thou art a man sent from god what convinced them for no man can do these things not say these things no man can do these things i write to you all excellent theophilus of all that jesus began both to do and teach not teach alone do and teach we're a generation of a performance there must be a performance and the performance must be beyond falling down results results that defy science results that create arguments results that stops an unbeliever from sleeping in the night and he sees this every time god is revealed it's a message that pounds in the heart of someone who does not know god it forces men to acknowledge that there is a god because they cannot explain the synergy behind that miracle when people begin to say there is no god it is because the sons of light have refused to show them god are we together remember paul and silas and the episode of the jailer the bible says they were jailed tied hands and foot and the bible says they prayed and they sang suddenly there was an earthquake an earthquake came and rattled the entire prison and then the bible says that the chains broke from their hands and the bible says that while they were singing the praise and the worship the jailers all of them had them i'm sure they were laughing stupid people useless prisoners you won't sit down in one place and while they were singing all of a sudden there was a physical earthquake the hands the chains were bound and then all of a sudden the bible says all doors were open and it was time for paul and silas to go out and the jailer wanted to kill himself because he was tantamount to death and he said no you don't have to rush calm down we are here that man got born again immediately one miracle will answer one thousand questions all these useless explanations we keep giving let me tell you every critic already knows the truth explaining to them is a waste of time you answer by a superior performance of the power the grace the wisdom of god not to make a name not to build an empire but to reveal jesus to make him manifest number four and that's where we stopped last week intentional mentorship of younger believers not young believers we are young younger believers if the ordinances of god must be preserved in a territory there must be an intentional system of mentorship that raises the younger believers and it starts right from nursery class primary school etc etc there must be a system of intentional mentorship when we have a generation of people who are ignored do you know by the time an average young man gets to 15 largely he or she their lives have been wrecked beyond repair are we together we must be able to capture people from the ages of these little children and show them god let their lingua franca be jesus and jesus only we mentor them gone are the days where people commit themselves to investing in children ministry and young people society has tainted people the moment you focus on children they say it's because you're a young man and in, in a bit to manage that embarrassment of not looking small or a child we have ignored them and satan says if you ignore them and I'm, I'm available more than available there must be a mentorship of younger ministers younger ministers they must be mentored to understand but the only challenge i have with mentorship is that the mentor himself must have an encounter with god otherwise we are going to mentor our limitations to people it will be a transference of limitations 
There are many people, it's because of mentorship they stop believing God. There are dimensions of God they would have believed. But a mentor created a theology out of his limitation and forced them to believe it and raped their potentials for entering superior dimensions in the spirit. There were people who began to have visions, dreams, prophetic encounters until they met a so-called mentor and he told them it was diabolism and they casted it out and closed the door against the Holy Spirit. Not everybody can mentor. Being in ministry for a long time does not qualify you for mentorship. You can be doing the wrong thing in ignorance for many years. It's an election of grace. God must train people with a track record and a testimony of walking with the Holy Spirit. Number five. The fifth way that the ordinances of God, the program of God is preserved over territories is influence. 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 God must find people in high places that are in places of influence enough to supervise the policies that preserve God in a territory. Are we together? For a very long time, the church has been indoctrinated to resent influence. We have been indoctrinated into believing that every time people aspire to rise to prominent positions, to sit upon the notable places of several spheres of influence is a proof of carnality. So we create, we have created a theology that you either be carnal and influential or spiritual and private. No, sir. No, sir. Jesus was a man of influence. What is influence? The ability to mold your understanding into people without using force. The ability to compel people to buy into your beliefs. To buy into your, your paradigms. To buy into your perceptions without using force. You use results. Acts chapter 10. Acts chapter 18. The verse of emphasis is verse 10. But for reference purposes, you can put verse 7 to verse 18. But let's look at just verse 10. For the sake of time, help us media verse 10, Acts chapter 18 and verse 10. It says, For I am with you, and no one will attack or hurt you. What is the reason? For I have many people in this city. There are many people who call upon my name in this city, and the fact that I have several people is an advantage to my agenda. Are we together now? That when God has many people in places of influence, it was the influence of Joseph of Arimathea that brought down the body of Jesus. It was not prayer that brought Jesus from the cross. He would have died and remained there on the cross. But a man of influence, Joseph of Arimathea, who had business concerns with Herod, told him that, look, I want the body of Jesus. And on grounds of that partnership and friendship, he said, all right, no problem. He will be buried in my own tomb. Influence played a role in our salvation. We have entertained a weak and a beggarly church with no voice. Policies and policies come up from an antichrist government. Men and women who do not know God, neither do they have respect for his ordinances. They are the ones that sit in the high places and spirits manipulate them to making life difficult for the church. And we are here praying in tongues, throwing ourselves from pillar to post and rejecting influence. There are two principal ways the kingdom advances. One is evangelism, two is influence. None of them can replace another. Evangelism and influence. The gospel is a message and it's an ideology. It's not a message alone. The message of the gospel is the revelation of the love of the Father demonstrated in the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus and the response of man to that act of love and benevolence. The result of which is the life of God imparted into man. That is the message of the gospel. But there is the ideology of the gospel. A system that seeks to enthrone Christ and his value systems. 
first in the hearts of men and then across every strata of human existence here's the great commission go ye into not go ye around enter a system cosmos the social system the mountains that represent the spheres of influence that govern the cultures of people let me have representations there he says do not be afraid why no one will hurt you because I have many people there when the righteous are in power the people rejoice he says when the wicked perish there are shouts of joy when the vice chancellor of a university calls upon the name of the Lord it's an advantage for the advancement of the kingdom within that territory if the wealthiest man in Zaria calls upon the name of the Lord it's an advantage to the growth of the church I believe in influence I never will reject influence God has blessed me with influential people some fathers of faith some great people connected to this ministry directly or indirectly great men of influence scattered across the military scattered across business scattered across every mountain I will never be indoctrinated to rejecting them because their relevance will show when you want to ward the gates of hell they will come physically through men and God there is only a limit there are certain doors that will never open for you you need somebody already in there who has the purposes of the kingdom are we together there are many cities that refuse to sell land for believers but certain men of influence and certain pastors that God has granted influence will come to that land and a call will come directly. Oga governor, Oga lands and survey coordinator, release 10 hectares now for this church. Their advantage can increase the economy of this land. And all they say is yes sir. May God put someone around your destiny that knows God and has influence. Influence can shorten your journey. All this prayer and fasting we pray out of unbelief is because we are using one system of the kingdom to remedy another. Influence can answer a lot of prayers. Are we together? Influence can answer a lot of prayers. A lot of prayers. God's people must find their way to the high places of life to represent his interest in the places that matter. In the places that matter. Imagine if Michael Jackson ever said Jesus. He would win more souls than many crusades combined. Whether the Jesus was a mistake or it was intentionally so. Are we together? I shared with us last week that Islam is the fastest growing religion in Europe. They have never packed a stadium for a crusade. They are using one weapon that we have ignored. Influence. 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 We live in a world that is governed by influence. Brothers and sisters, we need it. Whoever has influence sets the rules and forces you to work with the rules. I made up my mind that I will never pastor a spiritual and a weak people spirituality and influence can go hand in hand and that's the template i've chosen so i'll continue to pray for you and teach you that you rise and become great people in ministry here at the level that god has brought us there is hardly anything we want at this level that we cannot get because of the power of influence almost everything we will need at this level is a call away a call away a call away if it's military might, a call away. Are we together? If it's some kind of legal stance, it's a call away. The power of influence. If anybody comes and tries to bully the ministry and oppress the lives of people, God has strategically placed people in areas of influence to do that. Influence is important. You reject it, you will pay for it. Are we together? You reject it, you will pay for it. We need influence every time. We need influence everywhere. If there is an emergency case right now and we need attention in the hospital, by the grace of God, he has given us influence. 
to call some of the highest people that God can grant grace and make sure that we mobilize assistance for people. You see, believers are not taught how to live in a socio-economic environment. We are taught how to live in church, but we are not taught the wisdom for living. And it is the lack of this understanding that destroys us. A day will come, you will need help and ministry, the work of God will suffer greatly without it. It will require influence. Every week you see people here, you know, and, and so on and so forth, have people, the bosses that come from, almost, if not 100% of all the drivers, they are not Christians. But by 9 o'clock they come and wait here, all of them, and they are watching the meeting. It's called influence. Are we together? Don't reject influence. It is when influence is mismanaged that it can destroy people. There are people here by the grace of God and with all humility. They have gotten jobs overnight because of influence. Oh, how are you, sir? There are students who had no business graduating, but influence took them and they just left. Because you know somebody that can favor and help them. Hello, sir. Please, can you help A, B, C, D? There are people who have gotten admission because of influence. There are people who have gotten promotion because of influence. The church has become grounded because we have hated and rejected influence. And we keep praying. The answer leaves the realm of the spirit. But the system that makes it manifest, influence being one of them, is largely ignored. We must receive grace for influence. Hallelujah. There are people who have been at the police station and the situations around their lives would have been grievous but because of the power of influence one call officer inspector i'm the one calling a b c d e f g and it's, it's over unbelievers understand this you can catch a criminal a capon take him to prison in two hours one call makes one call makes one call abroad returns one call back to nigeria and the person is out walking on the street and then a sincere believer who loves god but is ignorant of the systems of god is kept and locked god must give us influence in the name of jesus christ god has helped us as a ministry i tell you the truth and i say it without humility god has given us influence and we have we have honored our way into those influence are we together it matters you have influence to the degree to which men rise to remedy any challenges that stand before you it will happen in ministry i remember there was i think a, a few months or so ago or weeks there was someone that wanted to just make some trouble because of the overflow and all of that and before all those troubles will rise people arose from everywhere and said no way no way you are you are a joker we have been blessed beyond imagination that's the power of influence i never had to go there to find out what happened influence Many of you may never know, but there's a gentleman now serving five years, five months or so in the prison. During one of the night vigils, he wanted to steal a car somewhere there. But because we had influence and access to military might, they were caught and apprehended and handled. And I didn't even know. It was the next day while we were on our way to the trip. The protocol department told me, oh, they got intelligence. Let me tell you something. If there is a crisis, God forbid, in Zaria, within one hour we have built a system of immunity we are not stupid people with in less than five minutes whatever needs to be communicated to every koinonia member will reach the person and the relevant structures for military might and influence will be put we are not stupid people we are living in a we will the horse is prepared for battle safety is of the lord but the horse will not sleep you are living in a wicked world don't assume you are not living in one are we together when the devil uses men to rise against you 
do you have enough influence or are you connected to people of influence that can come and speak the purposes of God hallelujah we must never reject influence brothers and sisters please take what I'm telling you seriously there are churches today who have refused to get land because of influence there are churches today who have never gotten certain opportunities because they have ignored influence they rejected it they resented it and it left them completely influence we go to the bank and by the privilege of God's influence many things that should not be done ordinarily are done to us because of influence if you reject influence you will never never experience certain dimensions of God influence is not just Christians influence is God lifting you to a platform where you can get the loyalty of men you can get the whatever it is that they represent hallelujah the school of ministry students will soon be graduating and while we're trying to uh, prepare for their graduation and so on and so forth they were talking one time about their uniforms what they would wear and one one of the students of the school of ministry is here he just got up and said look i can get you graduation gowns the only reason why they are not using it is simply because there are more students than the gowns can take but influence that's something somebody can be praying for three days and say lord wouldn't you raise somebody no many of the need driven prayers are products of lack of spiritual intelligence influence can answer many prayers do not be afraid I have many people many people many people could it be that our parents have rejected influence to their detriment could it be that several people across have rejected influence to their detriment influence is powerful powerful I remember when Boko Haram struck Mubi many of them may be listening from here now and all of that destabilized the church the entire church in movie everything scattered men of God had to go people were killed and all of that and God granted us the access through the power of influence to be part of those that God is using to bring the church within that territory back next month and back there again what a privilege to strengthen the believers and call everybody back again and say the purposes of God must thrive on this land that's the power of influence are we together i believe in influence i am friends to politicians talk whatever rubbish they are christians many of them have gotten born again many of them know god and they have the purposes of god i advise some of them i pray for them i'm not looking for their money god has been faithful we ignore these people in the name of spirituality and when there is need for help nothing happens i remember i think it was in niger state one of the year I, I, I don't know before the, the last election or so the Khan people wanted me to go and talk they usually have men of God that go and talk with the government you know and talk with them and the last time they took one young guy the guy went there and did a lot of very naughty things you understand what I'm saying people misuse because they don't understand the protocol of greatness I've had the privilege to advise people high and mighty they love me there are things that influence have brought to my life have brought to this ministry there is no good thing that comes into this land that we are not aware of there are systems of influence that grant us access to the choices of everything please believe in the power of influence otherwise you are going to pay for it in in unbelievable ways I've shared with you a humorous story about a young guy in NDA and the Emir of Zaria where the guy wanted to get admission and he failed the test among other reasons they said there was a height requirement to join the NDA and they said he fell short by a few inches sorry we cannot take you and the guy got angry and came one person connected to the other and the news got to the Emir and the Emir said that they should go and tell the commandant of NDA that the Emir has added the height of that man everybody say influence do you think they took him yes the person may probably have finished now the worthy soldier influence his destiny would have been jeopardized he would have been a farmer somewhere loitering in, in, in all kinds of pain and, and doing it they, they, 
just a little famine the back of his house in pain but influence brought him back to destiny don't reject influence don't reject influence I will never reject influence if God grants me access to great people I will talk to them most of us know Billy Graham to be an evangelist a dimension of him that is hardly known was that he was an influential man he was a mentor to several presidents of America it was not luck he literally pressed for it he said how many times Billy Graham will write letters to the presidents and they will turn him down they will throw away the letters but he continued because he believed that he was destined among other things to be an advisor to presidents from today and um, not even from today it's, it's been like that for many years I, I believe every president goes to pay homage to him regardless of what their spiritual orientation is about God is the power of influence will cause men to do things for God that they had no business doing because of influence in the name of Jesus Christ when you go to Dubai you go to China they have never been under pressure to learn English because of influence they speak whatever language influence translates it to those who are the benefactors of whatever they represent Chinese people have never seen I remember one keyboard years ago that my father bought from wherever I don't know where he got that keyboard brought it excitedly at home and said look there's a, a very classic keyboard and I looked at it and it was a toy full of Chinese I looked at everything and I said how in the world are we supposed to I mean there is no, even on you know like English slash China it was pure I'm sure it's one of those things that were just shipped into the country I remember the frustration many times when I'm trying to look for the right voice because I can't speak it that's the power of influence they have not seen a need to downgrade their systems to English because they have value that the world must subscribe to Lord make me a man of influence lift your voice and pray in one minute I covet it the Bible says to covet earnestly I desire it not for self aggrandizement not for the carnality of it for the sake of your kingdom your purposes must be represented not in just in a land it must be represented among great people lift your voice and pray in one minute Lord grant us influence as a house we receive the grace we receive the mantle we know the value of influence as far as kingdom advance is concerned and we receive it with all our hearts unashamedly and unapologetically we receive kingdom influence in business in finances in ministry in government we receive it point I'll talk about tonight and then we'll pray the sixth way that the precepts the ordinances of God are preserved in a territory is through an open display of love an open display of the love of God love that is without prejudice love that is without tribalism love that is outside of religion any sect any movement any church any program that does not communicate the love of God to the community and the territory with which it is represented does not have a future regardless of the prayer fire regardless of the mentorship listen carefully regardless of the quality of the word the spirit of revelation that is prevalent within that territory if there is no love everybody say love no. not just love for the brethren the bible says to to love all men be good to them especially they that are of the household of faith 
I have watched the resentment that men of God, the resentment that churches and ministries who are benefiting from a territory have towards that territory. One of the requirements for being blessed and endorsed by a territory is that there must be a perception from that territory that these people love us and they seek our good. Are we together? Demonstrated in many ways, but ultimately it must become a culture and a conviction. I've seen many moves of God, even in, in, in recent time, across several territories where they have later fought the man of God. They fought the man of God, fought the church, fought everything. You know why? The community does not have a perception of the love. Not just love towards God, love towards men. I watch your life and I see the way you treat non-Christians. I watch your life and I see the way you treat people who are not your tribe. I watch your life and I see the way you treat people who did not have the privilege to go to school. I watch your life and I see that although you are a prayer giant, your resentment and sarcasm towards the territory God has planted you. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. First, he didn't just send a son to come and get out of the territory. It was love that brought him. If you want to see the purposes of God established and preserved, even through this ministry, we must love our environment. Are we together? We must love the body of Christ within this environment. I've, I've taught us that there may be one, listen to that message, is powerful. There are four encounters I've taught us here that you must have in your life to be efficient. Number one is an encounter with the Lord Jesus. The benefit of that encounter is life eternal. So wait. Number two, an encounter with the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The benefit of that encounter is leadership, guidance. The third encounter you must have is an encounter with the word of God, the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. Are we together? The benefit you get from that encounter is capacity for legislature, dominion. Is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries and the systems of the kingdom. But the last encounter that very few people have understood is an encounter with the body of Christ. An encounter with the body of Christ. Not just God, but the body of Christ. If you have not had an encounter with the body of Christ, you will remain lopsided. I trust God for when I will begin to write books. I have a book that I'm going to write. The title is Balance. It's a reorientation of the bride of Christ. The book is about the bride of Christ, the wife of the Lamb, and the dishonor that has been communicated to her. The scriptural text is jealousy is the rage of a man. I'm giving you a preview to the book. Jealousy is the rage when you touch a responsible man's wife and claim you love the man. Are you not a hypocrite? Yes, Are we together? Pastor Alpha, can someone insult your wife and then bow to you? That's a hypocrite. So when you hate his bride and claim you love him, something is missing somewhere. A wounded bride is still a bride. An imperfect bride is still a bride. We must have an encounter with the body of Christ. I was sharing with a dear friend. He's seated here. We're having a little discussion in the afternoon. And I was just talking to him about the body of Christ. Let me tell you something. One of the greatest keys to be granted unusual anointings, please listen to me, greater than your prayer life, greater than fasting, is your love for God and your love for his body. You will never be given the power to heal the sick if you hate the people you are going to heal. Are we together? Every spiritual gift works by love. Every manifestation of the power of God works by love. <laughs> If I hate Ejimi right now and God gives me prophecy for Ejimi, the purity with which that prophecy left the throne is not the purity with which it will be delivered. That, that prophecy will rub off on my hatred and chances are that I will add to that prophecy what God did not say, which was a derivative of my personal vendetta with him. 
Are we together now? Love. Most of us trivialize love. We love power. If I tell everybody, shout power, you stand up with two hands and say, power, oh God. Shout miracles, miracles. Shout gifts, gifts. Shout love, and we say the ladies can shout it. That's the reason why many people never walk in the high places of the spirit. The Bible says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it come into the hearts, the comprehension of any man, that which God has in store for they that love him. Are we together? He says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, not how you pray, not the wheelchairs you lift up, when you have love one for another. <laughs> the Bible says, how can you claim you love God that you have not seen when you hate your brother? Listen, having a different perspective is not a reason for hatred. There are many people that walk the extended workforce of the ministry includes several people. There are people watching from the projector stand outside. Some of the drivers will soon come. They are Muslims. I love them. I greet them all the time. When they give birth, our protocol department goes to greet them. We invite them for dinner. The Muslims know that I love them. I have neighbors who are Muslims. Whenever they are celebrating any occasion, I try to greet them. Sometimes we sit and see brotherly kindness. I remember when Koinonia used to do counseling sessions before we stop. Ask those who come. You see throngs of Muslim families come together with everything, not in hiding. They come openly. Muslims recommend people and say, Look, go to that man of God. And they come. Oh, I am Haji Adis. I am Alaji this. And I say, You are so welcome. You are so welcome. Not what are you doing here? <laughs> the world is not for Christians. The world is for anybody God allows to arrive here. Whoever. <laughs> whoever arrives here. Whoever arrives here. Deserves to be shown love. There are families. Some of your families have a mixture of Christians and Muslims. Look at the fight that happens there. The prayer warrior slash priest is the greatest troublemaker in that family because he disagrees with everything. Everything. I remember when I was in primary school, they do Muslim prayers, Christian prayers, and after they do it, everybody hugs themselves. We, truly speaking, growing up, I did not know any difference between Muslims and Christians. We celebrated Christmas together. When it was time for Salah, we looked forward to Rams arriving and all of that. I mean, people were just happy. You see people. But the resentment, especially of the church. Are we together? There are three people that come around. How are you? I'm, I'm, what's your name? I'm James. How are you? My name is Femi. How are you? My name is Abdullahi. Uh, you stand here. And we try to be able to say, look, we are the church. No, sir. You are the light of the world. 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 A city set on a hill. As far as we are represented in this land, everybody will be blessed from it. We will pray for everybody. We will strive to get as many to the saving knowledge of Jesus. But regardless, I, there are people I pray for. I pray for them with all my heart. Some of them come and they bring their chants. I'm sorry, sir. You know, the way my practice, I tell them, I said, no problem. But this is the way it is. Um, you know, when you want to see this, these charms will not help. Not, hey! You are bringing charm. My Jesus, where are you? Show up all these kinds of things that we do. No, sir. We are not going to bless the world that way. Are we together? Some of us have neighbors. Six o'clock. You are shouting. You open the door and just move. Hey, sister, Femi, come. Brother, this, come. And we're on our way going. And all the Muslim people, good morning, sir. And they are watching. Let me tell you, listen to me. We will never preserve the ordinances of the kingdom that way. But when there is love, you hear that someone is sick. Ah, uh -uh. Amina, you are sick. What is wrong? Is your mother around? No, she's not around. Let's go to the hospital. Ah, and the lady is watching you. You go to the hospital. You've paid the bills. Please. Amina is also my daughter. And the Hajia comes and says, ah, ah. I thought you were supposed to go to church. And say, the reason why I would have gone to church is what I am doing now. I'm not a hypocrite. 
I will not go to church and let somebody die. The very training I would receive in the church was to take care of such a person. And I'm here seated. The woman goes back. I love families where you see people regardless of religion, regardless of this, they love themselves. There is this resentment and we pastors are the architects of programming members to hate any other person who is not them. The worst part of it is that it has even entered the church. It's no longer Christians versus non-Christians. Denomination. Every time you see somebody that dresses this way, you are not told to hate directly. It's through a series of messages that draw a straight line. Hate this person. If you see any lady who behaves this way, hate this person. If you see any brother that behaves this way, hate this person. If you see any young man of God preaching, hate this person. If you see any ministry where the power of God manifests, hate them. If you see any ministry where the man of God cannot even pray in tongues, hate him. We all combine that war and think we are being spiritual. And God is watching us. God is not a Christian, no. I hope you are aware God is not a Christian God is the God of all flesh God is not a Christian when the when the when the angel appeared to Joshua he said are you for us or against us he said you are joking I'm not for anybody I'm standing on God's side whoever I find there is the one for me you are not there you are you go away immediately The last supper that we talk about in heaven good news is one big table and everybody who arrives there must sit there you, you are not given the privilege of choosing your neighbor we are there one big family the Bible already told us listen one of the biggest secrets of the grace of God upon my life is that I never resent any man of God I never resent any church you will never hear me open my mouth to talk against any man of God no if I mention names it is for commendation and for blessings now I have my reservations I have my convictions but it is not enough reason you see me greet and love people anywhere I have friends and great people that we vary sharply in beliefs but I love them with all my heart are we together who taught you to love only those who agree with you doctrinally religiously some of us innocently our mothers have indoctrinated us hate this one in this neighborhood everybody's a witch except us someone prepares a nice meal and they bring it and say if i if i if i see you touch that rice the slap i will give you and the neighbors are watching bring those people for deliverance and see who manifests You'll be surprised that the only thing the unbeliever needs is salvation. <laughs> but the so-called jumping noise maker, before they even arrive and sit, they're already shaking and shouting and flying up and down. Let's be careful. The greatest enemies of Jesus were not prostitutes. They were not children. He loved them. When he saw a woman who was caught in adultery, um, he said, woman, where are than accusers? He said, neither do I accuse you. That's Jesus for you. He met a woman by the well. And the woman was afraid as usual because everyone had treated her that way. Jesus said, you have five husbands. The one that is with you is not even your husband. I thought Jesus said, you said, Abba, one husband, two husbands. Because that's what Joshua Selma would have done. Madam, what, what is wrong with you? You have not listened to my message, Essentials for a Glorious Relationship. <laughs> Thank God Jesus is not me. I'm the one who strives to become him. Are we together? But here's a loving, loving. I remember one time I was counseling someone. I think he had three wives. And then he was telling me, he said, well, the other wife, the third wife is my daughter. And I was shocked. He just passed the statement. And there's a comeback. The what? Ah, oh God. You are mentioning this thing. And, you are, and, and the Holy Spirit convicted me. You see. When something has happened, it has happened. God manages that system to bear his will. There are no longer regrets. 
Doesn't mean you should do it. Hey, yes, yes, yes. Doesn't mean you should do it. Don't go and marry anyhow. But I'm saying, when you meet people and something has already happened, if a lady has already gotten pregnant and she's giving birth to the child, you won't carry the child and put him back to her. The child has arrived. The most important thing is let's get God into that life. Yeah. That's how we salvage the situation. Yes, Listen, by the grace of God, one of my life's goal is to be the arm for wounded people to find shelter. And I say amen to that. Amen. Are we together? That when someone is wounded, I will not just be an anointed man of God, but a shoulder that you can lean on. That when other people are moving and shouting and running their mouth like we do in the body of Christ, that it is you will be the shoulder for people to lean on. Oh, I used to pray before, but something happened to my life. Hey! Something happened. What happened? Pride a bit. But you are, you are the arm. He said, it's all right. There is a system in the kingdom where mighty men can arise again. Love. Is God speaking to us? There is nobody who wants to be a member of such kind of a church. Nobody will not want to be a, a leader of such kind of a, of a pastor. Look at what this guy is doing. <laughs> can you imagine? I'm busy preaching and using him for example and he's there. Well, I love him too. God bless you, Sam. I love you so much. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes. The workers in this ministry know that I love them. I love the leaders outspokenly. How many of you see Benga when he shines? Come Benga. When he shines, when he shines, when he shines, he said he didn't do it today, but I mean... He bought the clipper by himself and trust me, he does a good job. Better than, I mean, he shines that thing and brings it for me to impart upon it. It's called love. When you see people, anointing and love can go hand in hand. You don't have to drag your face as if you are the person. Who, no, 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 no. I love people. God bless you. You see me and it's me. You, you see me and the little children. I'm sure it's only because protocol has stopped them now. Otherwise, these children can run while I'm preaching now. They don't care. To them, your Joshua Selman is apostle to you. That, that, he's the person who plays with me when I'm ready for play. After service, they run. They don't care whether I ate or not, whether I'm broken fast or not. They just jump and expect me to hold them. It's called love. There is a side of God we have failed to reveal because we have thought that revealing it is weakness. I love Muslims. You will never see tribalism in this ministry. Never. Never. The workers have been taught. They've been taught. Oh, you are Igbo. You are Yoruba. Mm -mm -mm. No, no man after the flesh. I love my people. Don't get me wrong. There are my people listening to me from just. I love all of you with all my heart. But trust me. Trust me. I love the body of Christ. I have gone to every region in this nation. They have received me with joy and honor without prejudice without sentiment i humorously used to talk with my people and i tell them i say we have many houses in this nation and then we keep listing all the houses the frequent places that we visit i'll be going to Mubi now um next month and whenever i reach there do you know how they greet me daddy or yo yo that's how they dance because that's home and it's home i love them with all my heart I told them the next time I come here, I'll look for land and buy because I think I qualify to be uh, whatever it is, the, 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 the local, the son of the soil of that place. How about Kogi? The, the, the amount of food I've eaten in Kogi qualifies me to be given something, maybe a chief tenancy title. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love the body of Christ with all my heart. No resentment, no prejudice. I see a man of God, before I even know who you are and what you believe, you receive a big hug from me. How are you? You are hungry, sir. This is something to eat. Before I start finding out whether you believe whatever. You say, I believe in Jesus. I also believe in culture. I still love you, but would you want to look at it this way? Not, hey! I want, uh, blessed is the man who does not stand in the council of the weekend. I love people. There are Muslims seated here in this congregation, inside and outside, listening to me. And after service, they come and greet. I love them. That's how many of them have become born again. But whether or not they become born again, hating them. 
I love everybody. My neighbors, they are little children. When I see them, I, they just jump and come and hug me and I lift all of them. I don't care whether you are a Christian or this, you are a herbalist, whether there's a chap for you, that's not the issue. That's why God allowed me immune myself. I lift them and I'm happy and bless them. Change your outlook about the world. My world is a beautiful world. My world is not a world in crisis. Having enemies, church versus uh -uh. No. My world is a beautiful world. I love people. I don't resent people. I don't pride myself at the pain of people. Walls of pride and prejudice shall see. When we are your instruments of peace, Lord, make us instruments of your several files from different prayer groups in Zaria different ministries in Zaria man of God pray for us I'm praying with all my heart man of God we have a little program we need 10 naira okay I can help you with 2 naira I don't care whether you are with me I don't it's not my business the most important thing is I love you you love Jesus you are my friend you truly are my friend what a beautiful way to live this ugly resentful way the whole world will not become koinonia stop dreaming about it kingdom advancement is not establishing koinonia everywhere kingdom advancement is koinonia establishing christ everywhere are we together yes the mandate is extended by many of you here and many ministries that will come out of here that's true kingdom advance not an advancement of one person's agenda and ideology but an advancement of his kingdom and it's a privilege to contribute the quota that your ministry or whatever platform can bring in kingdom advance i love the body i honor the husband and i honor his wife i honor the husband christ i honor his wife the ecclesia i honor the bride of christ i will never resent the bride of christ though wounded she still deserves my honor though in ignorance in many areas she still deserves my honor are we together i meet a man of god somewhere i greet him whether i know you or not oh you're a pastor god bless you where what are you doing oh i'm a pastor with this and that and that and that oh really oh that's nice how are you oh i'm a pastor with deeper life ah how is our father papa Kumui? oh you know papa Kumui? i love him with all my heart Oh, I'm a member of MFM. Really? How is our father, Daniel Lukoya? Ah, he's this. I mean, you love him. Really? Are you a member of MFM? No, not exactly, but it's our fathers. They bless us. A child receives from anywhere his father is. That's the body of Christ. Are we together? How are you? Oh, you are a winner. Yes, God bless you. Oh, I was blessed by Papa Oyedepo's message. I was so blessed. Are we together? Every, it doesn't matter what fellowship I can preach there. It doesn't matter what ministry I can preach. I remember when the Anglican Communion invited me. They forgot that I was a seminarian. Ah. I saw, I think it was the vicar. He was so happy when I was reciting the Apostles' Creed. And I was talking and you know, ah, he was so impressed. And after the meeting, they loved me with all his heart. And I greeted him, appreciated him. I love people with all my heart. You don't pray in tongues, no problem, I love you. You are limited by your understanding. I pray that you improve, but no problem, I love you. Are we together? That's what Jesus taught us. Now listen to me. I was sharing a game with my friend this afternoon. 
correcting the body of Christ is an office not everybody has the authorization to correct the body are you hearing what I'm saying correcting the body is an office the same way if come Emeka is writing his last exam in a few weeks and you'll be a full doctor Huh? It's already a, it's just to, for them to all of them. See our, our doctor people there. I mean, we have so many doctors, children sick, while prayer is going, injection is coming here, attacking from every angle. I tell you, divine health is going to be here for a very long time. It has come here to stay. Praise God. Now watch this. If I am sick. Will I allow any roadside, these guys that sell pharmacies on, uh, they sell drugs on, on one box on their head that they can mix everything. Will I allow that person to treat me? I go to an authorized person. What authorized him? There is an association. When he writes his final exam, he's going to be officially authorized to practice medicine. Is that true? Yes. Correcting, do you think God will create a body? And not allocate the doctors that take care of it are we together the same way you have lecturers that teach the mind of that body you have doctors coming to correct the body is an office one of the first requirements to be qualified to collect to correct the body is that you must love the body without reservation the whole body must be loved without reservation to end the right to correct her Help that person under the anointing. The moment, listen, 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 let me have your attention here. The moment you do not love the body, you cannot effectively correct the body. If this guy is a pastor, come Mike, and Mike is a pastor, XYZ Ministries International, ABC Ministries International, and I come, I'm a pastor. I don't like what Mike is doing. I already have a bias. I can never correct it in truth. Are we together? But I can stand here loving the body. And when I say, Mike, I think um, you are supposed to put your hand this way, not this way. I do it in love. Are we together? The context of my communication shows that I love Mike genuinely. And I seek with all my heart to see him rise. Hallelujah. I rebuke many of you here. Sometimes I come to preach and the series can be fire. You know, there are series that I hammer. As soon as they finish preaching, your body is just shaking and you can't wait for the grace so that you quietly go. No matter how hard I am on you, you discern my heart and know that there's love. There are men of God, you shout at members like that. Next Sunday, you have empty pews. But when they know that you love them, I rebuke people. I rebuke the workers. I rebuke worship team. Worship team. I love you people with all my heart. But there are times that they deserve rebuke. And what does a good leader do? You rebuke them to the gravity that will create the effect. But they know I love them. I rebuke all kinds of people. Protocol everywhere. So you don't come and just begin to lambast the body of Christ tear down every ministry tear down every man of God carry the baby and the bad water and the bad water mix everything together and throw them no if my leg is wounded don't insult my head my head is still good appreciate the fact that I bab well it's just that there's wound on my leg and then bring bandage and treat it don't keep pointing and say ah you mean this big injury is on your leg how can such a good head have bad leg you are not solving the problem bring a bandage I wrote a song years ago the bandage is larger than the wound powerful song one day I will, I will play this keyboard by myself and sing it are we together now bandage the wound and say father thank you for the privilege your head is good but this is where the problem is and I come as a member of the body too and I remedy you and two weeks later the wound is healed and he's standing the church is stronger the body is stronger Christ is exalted it's only in the church that we destroy our wounded soldiers a man of God serves a ministry for many years 
and an issue comes around his life and the people he has served for many years turn against him as if he became a devil in one month no sir no sir I manage a lot of cases between men of God and sometimes I see the bleeding that comes from them they serve people with all their heart and maybe sometimes something happened around their life that you know destroyed their ministry or whatever it is and you see the resentment my prayer for you is that you become the arm that can wipe the tears of people that every time people are crying they say I know that Pastor Alpha is a prayer warrior he's a revelation giant but he's also a loving hand what a good testimony Jesus said let the little children come the children were running to Jesus and all of a sudden said, guy guy leave me alone he's, he's, he has finished fasting allow him and Jesus said yeah who taught you this let the little children come to me and do not despise them for for such is the king I have come to seek and save the lost I have come as a man of God when I when I travel and go to regions many times pastors come from other cities to come you know just in honor of the meeting and I look at their faces I see some already intimidated I see some standing and I am very quick to honor all of them I come to them and I say men of God I love you I honor you I have not come to outshine you I know you have listened to my messages don't be intimidated I am here to lift up your hand I am here you are already doing something great I don't go to a city and destroy what the people are doing there I go to a city and I tell them look you are doing something great and I'm here to lift up your hands so that Jesus will be seen you don't come and open a shop near another believer and as soon as you open a shop near that believer you just sit down go and bring oil go and bring water go and bring this and pour it and say you will see you will know that the god of my of apostle joshua say you will know there's fire in this coin on here wait and see your shop and then the person's shop is going down and you are laughing say see i told you this anointing works in this ministry you are an immature believer an accident happens ten members eight die and the only two members that survive are the members of your church and then they come and say everybody died except us remember that prophecy that papa gave us and and uh, and, 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 and an immature man of god is happy the death of eight believers is a setback to kingdom advance we must have a corporate heart are we together now i was asking i was asking him uh, about the, the flood in benway state and what is going on because my heart I've just been thinking about the people there and I was telling him I said look Benway has tried for years to bring me by God's grace I would I should try to visit that land next year and we're just talking and those of you listening from Benway I love you uh, it's not my my intention not to have come and trust me next year in the name of Jesus Christ next year Benway should be part of the itinerary let's let's go there and contribute to the great things that they are doing there whenever you approach ministry as a contribution in addition to what God is already doing you become loved you become valued and every man of God within that territory loves you but when you go to a territory and push everybody away as though you are doing nonsense you are not even praying in tongues and you are a pastor you are not even this and that you are not collecting offering in your church eh? you are not you approach the pulpit with a heart of love you bless people seated in this place are mighty men and women of God they come quietly to sit down while the meeting is happening. after service there are many people who have traveled from many regions I don't stand Joshua Selman this is him in case you have heard about him this is Apostle Joshua Selman yes bring your demons bring your sickness no 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 it's a privilege of his grace I will never take for granted I'm nothing without you it's grace your grace shines on me it's your grace your grace I'm nothing without Listen, listen, some of you here are pastors.
because of fellowships and groups learn it never make your fellowship a place that divides the body are we together call to order people whose lives have a track record of the no 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 especially some of us who are younger coming up in ministry we have hardly seen anything and we are already sustaining this bossy attitude no sir no sir i've shared about my love and honor for cgc the, the leadership of CGC, I say it in the open, the CGC represents the most humble set of ministers I have seen in all my life till date. Truly speaking, truly speaking, I have never, never seen men of God so anointed together with their wives. The mama of CGC is such a humble woman mommy will see me like this and left for her a woman that is old enough to be my mother how many times mommy will want to kneel down i know what some of you will do you will stand and say well mommy i i let me tell you how it is you won't look for it but if it comes you will enjoy it you are still a criminal it's listen it's like buying alcohol or you are given a drunkard is one who drinks alcohol not ones who drink by buying with his money whether you are given as a gift it is the act of drinking alcohol that makes you a drunkard a wise person just because they acknowledge you and they come ah apostle sir and the woman eh, my mother wanting to kneel down for me and then i stupidly stand there and i no i will join her and kneel down she kneels down and will lie down and roll i say mommy let's let's roll on the floor there some of us are already receiving that. You, your appetite for outshining is almost a cancer. You don't search for it by yourself. But when it comes, you don't mind. Where is the apostle? Where is he? That guy. That's it. Yes, apostle. Joshua Selman. And in case you doubt that I'm anointed, give me five minutes. Let me handle the mic. That's not a person that will last. If it means God taking the ministry from me to retain the humility he has given me, it's a worthy bargain. I will give up koinonia a thousand times to maintain my work with God and to maintain the life. Humility has blessed me more than financial intelligence. It has given me access to the hearts of people. There is nothing as beautiful as someone highly anointed and truly humble not fake humility that is is just no 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 humility that is based on revelation i love the body of christ i love the church of the lord jesus in zaria every time i pass around and i see different prayer groups prayer cells different people i see a lot of you know our some of them are brethren here some of them have crusades in different lands we just i think there was a crusade conducted recently in gombe you know i am excited seeing the people that god has granted grace to raise doing a lot of things i'm not pushing them and say who oh, no it should be only me only me no only you is this is that one is is just culture we bring our cultural limitations mix it with the anointing and make it look like it's the holy spirit that is responsible for all that outcome no sir let's separate between the limitations that came from our personal sense of poor esteem I love it when I see God lift people. I love it when I see God use people. During the school of ministry, I was at the, their practicum. I was seated outside and I was almost shedding tears. I was watching as great men and women, powerful people, dispensing truth. I sat down. The reason why I left this place and I sat down outside was I didn't want them to be conscious of the fact that I'm there and then be conscious of not. I, I wanted them to just have their way and minister. And what a powerful meeting it was for me say pride for many men of god is an intimidation no 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 let's let's clamp these people down very soon before they outshine <laughs> no honor is a mantle if it's on you it's on you shines on me shines on me i'm everything Shines on me, shines on me, it's 
sent me a text a few weeks ago i think arm robbers entered and i think it's a small church somewhere i don't know if it's in abuja or nasarawa state and he sent me a text he said man of god i don't know you but arm robbers just entered they stole some of their gadgets you know i'm sure maybe the church was not secured and all of that i didn't have to ask who are you what what church do you belong to what do you believe do you listen to my message or not that's that was none of my business sir really Ah, I called him. How are you, sir? Let me pray for you. I hope they didn't hurt anybody. Where is the church? I pray for you with all my heart in the name of Jesus. Please send me your account number. Whatever little I can send. If it cannot be enough to buy a speaker, at least you can buy a recharge card and make calls. Cheer up. Don't worry. Father, strengthen this brother in the faith. The devil has come to discourage him. But my brother, I encourage you. Stand strong. Oh, apostle, you have been a mentor to me. That's not the issue. I'm praying for you now. The loss of one is the loss of the body. The gain of one is the gain of the body. Lift your voice as you are seated and cry for the grace. A baptism of love for the body. I'm not doubting your love for God. But your love for the body. I show you why you are not seeing miracles in your life. I show you why there are certain levels of investments that you may not see. I show you why God may not be able to trust you with blessings for the body. Lord, I love your body. Ah, I love your body. I love every church. I love every denomination. I love every man of God. There may be difference in belief systems. There may be difference in values. Our levels of alignment may differ. Our levels of spiritual results may differ. But I love what you are doing in Nigeria. The church in Nigeria is not dead. The church in Nigeria is not weak. She can't be better, but Christ is in the midst of her church. The perfecter of the bride. 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 Inside, outside, make sure you are praying. The perfecter of the bride. Hallelujah. We are soon going to stand up, but I'm going to give you one more prayer point. I'd like you to pray. And say, Lord, the spirit of sarcasm and resentment, take it out of me. I didn't even know when it entered me. I laugh at men of God. I laugh at business people. I laugh at other tribes. Anyone who is not Yoruba, I laugh at them and resent them. Anyone who is not evil, I laugh at them and resent them. Anyone who is not a northerner, anyone who is not a Christian, any Muslim I see, I hate it. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Jesus taught us to love. Jesus taught us to love. It's one way we allow the purposes of God to be preserved. That the church within a territory is known for love, not hate. Not hate. Hallelujah. Listen, we are going to pray. Brothers and sisters, look at me. If it is authentic power you want, if it is grace and anointing you want, more than fasting and more than prayer, you must love his body. You cannot love a husband and hate his wife. You are a hypocrite. I cannot love a Jimmy and hate hope. I cannot love Pastor Alpha and hate Annie. It doesn't work that way. When you love a man, you love his wife. If you love Christ, the head of the church, then you must love his bride. Yes, still getting perfected. Yes, with many mistakes in the midst of her. Yes, with many scandals in the midst of her. Yes, with many people blindly refusing dimensions of God. But you must love people. I love every man of God. I love every pastor. I love every leader in Zaria across this nation. I love them. I watch television and I see different preachers across different channels manifesting what they know and understand by the, the kingdom in many ways. And I see a lot of things. I have my reservation, but I love them in spite. 
I love all of them with all my heart. The same way many people love me, in spite of my own imperfections, in spite of my own limitations, they overlook the excellence level of our messages. Some messages are not very clear. They overlook it and focus on what God is doing. That is the same way you must sow that same seed of love. Can't be resentful over everybody. Are we together? Yes, the lady did not cover her hair. Okay, it's alright. Reserve your reservation about your concept there. But it's not enough reason to hate. Oh, the lady covered her hair. Ah, I don't believe in covering of hair. No problem. But it's not enough reason to go around hating people. No, sir. We must love the body. When we do this as a territory, you will see revival break out in Zaria and from Zaria across every part. One worship minister will finish worshiping and hug the other one and give him the mic with joy. Not give him the mic like you have come to stop me from shining. No. The body. Think kingdom, not koinonia. Think kingdom. Think body, not Joshua Selman. Thank God for the honor. Thank God for the loyalty based on administration. But if you want to be effective in the kingdom, you must think beyond me. You must think beyond koinonia. You must think kingdom and the purposes of God. Hold hands together. Though we are many, we are one body. We are one body in Christ. Though we are many, we are one body. We are one body in Christ. One more time, let it be a song of love and unity. Though we are many. for Christians, a love for Muslims, a love for traditional worshippers, a love for any and everybody. Place a love for Yoruba people, a love for Igbo people, a love for Northern people. Lift your voice and pray. Grace to love. Leave your voice and pray. Drive far from your life the spirit of hate. Drive far from your life the spirit of resentment. Exalt the body in love. Build the body in love. Correct Muslims in love. Correct traditional worshippers in love. Deal with your unbelieving relatives with love. It is the love of God that brings them to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, in any way I have contributed to the division of the body within my territory, I ask for mercy. Lift your voice and pray. In any way, through ignorance, through limited spiritual understanding, in any way I have contributed, I have planted the seeds of this God among members. I have planted the seeds of this God among men of God, among deacons among church workers i have created a sense of competition and appetite to outshine i ask for mercy i ask for mercy lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray Prayer points and we're done for tonight.
tonight next prayer point lord trust me with any dimension of your power available i will not disappoint you it will be for the body not for my members trust me may i be a worthy vessel oh god that you will find to host your prosperity to host your prophetic grace to host the apostolic fire to host leadership to host administration let it please you to trust me let it please you to trust me it will be for your body it will be for your body preservers of divine ordinances we are going to pray I want us to spend about five minutes intercede for the body of Christ in this nation listen but particularly intercede for the body of Christ in Zaria Lord Zaria remains a place of revival this is where we are domiciled for now so we pray for the peace of this city we decree and declare this town remains crisis free this city remains development conducive in the name of Jesus the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is favored upon this land are we praying lift your voice and pray 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 we pray for the churches in the six geopolitical zones of this nation. We bless them. We strengthen their hands in the spirit. Lord, we declare that there be a supply, a greater supply of the spirit, a greater supply of financial resources, a greater supply of the spirit of illumination, revelation, a greater supply of your grace a greater supply of influence we pray for the church in this nation we decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit that the church of the lord jesus christ is standing strong every church every cathedral every pastor every prophet every apostle every priest we decree and declare that their lives permit your purposes to be established across that territory their lives permit your purposes to be established. Their lives permit your purposes to be established. Lord, heal the broken-hearted, broken-hearted men of God, broken-hearted members, broken-hearted churches, broken-hearted denominations. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, heal them. Rest on backsliders. Renew anointings. Multiply auctions, multiply encounters. We pray for the church in Zaria, the spiritual heritage that you have placed upon this land. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. It will lost we prophesy that we are preservers 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 of the mysteries of healing preservers of the power of the holy spirit preservers of the function for revival for signs for wonders preservers of the prophetic preservers of the apostolic preservers of the evangelistic Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady 
born had never smelled she was not in a miracle service just listening to a message and all of a sudden the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it Lord I'm tired of this lump Lord I'm tired of this medical report I'm tired of watching my mother cry my father cry I'm tired of my ministry not growing I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family that pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch a second touch over my family my loved ones are not born again Lord I can't watch them go to hell like this Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burdens. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. I will continue to read it for you Isaiah chapter 61 please give it to us the messianic prophecy Jesus's own manifesto he's saying this is what I came to do Isaiah 61 it says the Spirit of the Lord we're reading from verse 1 to 4 is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek 
he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives start looking for your own as i'm reading and the opening of the prison to them that are bound verse 2 to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all those that mourn three to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beautiful ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified for and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations they shall repair waste cities he says the desolations of many generations i like you to pray whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family insist that tonight is the night when it will happen overflow one pray overflow two overflow three by the roadside those following from around the world open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart hallelujah hallelujah the Lord just showed me something like a train you know a speed train not like we have it now just like a train just pass like this and I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed listen we are going to pray now and like i always say you'll find out when i pray you're going to see people running around in and out please just guide them and bring them out ushers whether you are an usher or not the ushers can only do so much i want to pray once i pray that prayer listen please i don't want you to get listen please hold on i don't want it, the idea is not about people falling down carrying them please let your spirit be open be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of those people at Overflow 1. A lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer. I in overflow one the overflow outside you see let me tell you this when a man listen when a man does not have speed in his life you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do it it takes more than just power right please help those in overflow one my god i'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at overflow one outside now listen when there is no speed in your life listen imagine that i have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing on one leg am i moving yes sir but when will you arrive there the pressure that you will mount on this leg it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it and so god when he wanted elijah to move because he had already been delayed the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. 
he was empowered of the spirit and he ran i i i'm, I'm saying this before i pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around no when that grace comes upon you what god is saying is i'm ready to shift you that within a short time you will see a lot happen in your life in three days the work of redemption was done three days this powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready it was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying thank you jesus the lord is asking me to shout jesus not you now i'm the one shouting jesus i'm going to shout it and at the third time i tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of god let me have those people out lord you are bringing speed to your people and i know that there are angels all around it's time to change people's levels and even as you have instructed me oh god as i declare that name that is above every other name i pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position that in the name of the god of heaven an anointing will shift that person into his destiny jesus that's number one mm. jesus that's number two get ready now jesus let that anointing right now i shift man speed speed to your life oh god let every delay be broken now i command the spirit of delay be broken speed i shift you by the power of the holy ghost help that woman please help that mama there please help them whether you are an usher or not speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost i'm still praying i'm still praying the holy ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the holy ghost lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please i'm praying for some of you now it's the same prayer but it's no longer just for you you may not be experiencing it but your family needs speed the anointing now is moving from individuals to families lord where are the families that need the shift of the holy ghost i decree and declare right now i speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace families be shifted now speed 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 kaparakoto shegeta i decree it i declare it i decree it and i declare it no more delay i stretch my hands i'm seeing an angel of the lord just on this road i stretch my hands right now i move people god is moving people here i decree i declare i decree i declare i decree i declare 
by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it must work for you I shift you no more delay in your life this lady wearing hijab right now the Lord is shifting you that lady in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of Jesus now all those in front i'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three i speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 i lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your mouth. yes i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the lord is saying that he's shifting things i'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus let that chain be broken let that chain i command that devil i'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of jesus hallelujah be sensitive i want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold i give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but i want to pray a dangerous prayer i'm seeing snakes this is what i'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three everyone shout jesus as you shout jesus i see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus, I crush Satan. I crush his works inside, outside. I command every power, every force. Go now. Go now. Hallelujah. Please be sensitive. Just give me the volume. I'm seeing fire by my left and right. Just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now. As I'm walking here. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil. You must go now. You must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as i come close to you that fire there is a judgment let them go now i'm coming this way right now in the name of jesus the power of god is coming this area this direction let them go now release them i come by the anointing of the holy ghost let them go now let them go now 
Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. break it toes. Release them. I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach. Release them now. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hands here. Right now. The fire of God is setting people free now. Lose them, lose them, lose them. Lose them, lose them, lose them now. Lose them, lose them in the name of Jesus. Lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I'd like you to pray. Everyone pray. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Now listen. Overflow one, listen to me. Listen, you don't have to touch me. Please, you don't have to touch me. But in the name of Jesus, hear me. The Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone. As soon as I pass here, I don't have to come close to you. You are going to feel fire all, all over. That fire, that will be the end of it. You must testify. Right now, I stretch my hands. Right, right now. It's over, over now. Shakos kata adika. Egeto sata rikata. Embregeto sheketa. Akato shekriaka. Manta brekotos. Let them go, let them go. Let them go, let them go. Let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I curse it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I curse it now. Please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power by fire, by fire, by fire. It leaves you now. Those of you here, I want you to lift your hands. Overflow too overflow to lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as i pass this place listen i want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow too please help your neighbors i'm only going to pass here right there as soon as i come close to you except god is not god if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now i command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now release them release them release them every covenant release them i break that power now 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 be broken hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i didn't know we have an extra overflow here i want to pray for those by the side here as i stretch my hands to you please don't waste your time i'm seeing fire already here in the name of jesus at the count of three those of you by the roadside one two let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. Please help them so they don't injure themselves. I declare. I decree and I declare. You are free. Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of three, overflow 3, all of you shout Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, bring them out. Maka poska baka tosh. Ekreke teke teka taka ta. Shepra katosa. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. Alapaka tosh. Kete 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 kete. Shaka kete kete. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, 
Chains be broken now. 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 Chains be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands and see praying. Listen. I'm seeing I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone, happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern any generational thing in the name that is above all names at the count of three one two three shout jesus bring them out that devil must let you go today my god Look at what God is doing in overflow three. Shapra kato shekete skaba, embra kato koto shabaria. Look at what God is doing in this place. Embra kete kete kato shabaru katos. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back. But I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow three. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder. But that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen. But a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you. You will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream. Someone will come to sleep with you. Or something will happen. Right now at the count of three. Shout Jesus. I command those devils one two three let them go now let them go now total emancipation hallelujah now now all those who are under the anointing here outside i pass a decree that every power that has held you i speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now hallelujah I'm inside this place now and I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet, but the Lord is showing me the number 12 and the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life. There is a mighty anointing. Lord, where are they? Drink of that wine. A ministry of signs and wonders. Ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I'm still praying. The anointing of the spirit is still locating men. I don't know why God is talking about ministry. The call. Don't run away from the call. Don't run from the call. A ministry of signs and wonders. The Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family. A ministry of signs. Signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Main auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing, 
I'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium. And I stretch my hands from here. It doesn't matter what overflow. You just be sensitive to what God is doing. Main auditorium. I'm seeing eight people. Eight people in the main auditorium. At the count of three. Right now in the name of Jesus. Fire will come upon your hands. I'm prophesying to the main auditorium. But everybody can receive. I decree and declare that healing anointing. One. Two. Three. Let that anointing come now. Let it come now. Fresh fire. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I'm seeing. Oh my God. The Lord is opening my eyes here. I'm, I'm seeing someone. Don't, don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed. Your father. I don't know if I'm seeing something like a priest. This is someone that worships something like an idol. It's in your house. I'm not saying you're a bad person, please. I'm not saying you're a bad person. You grew up seeing this happen. That they worship those idols. That gentleman is here in overflow three. Oh, 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 here. Yeah. Please, who is that person? Come. I want to break that thing now from your life. Please, quickly. Please make sure you hear what I say before you come. Just clear the, make way for them. Come on, come on, come on. The power of witchcraft. Young man, you're going to be a mighty man of God. I don't know you. Lift your hands. An anointing is coming upon you now. Huh? It will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder. Or let that anointing come upon him right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus. I break that force now. I break that force now. I break that force now. Testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm praying. Listen. I stretch my hands towards you and I speak. I don't know what it is that you have been involved in. But in Jesus' name, I'm stretching my hands. Why am I seeing fire leaving my hands? Who is it looking for? In the name of Jesus Christ. I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out. But I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. let her go now out out now now
this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three I'm seen by the spirit the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already I'm going to pray listen except God has not sent me as I'm praying some of you instantly the power of God will come upon you and God is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact I see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but I stand in the name of the Lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered I command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I release you my dear hold my hands to you I'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life I decree and I declare it over your life I stand by the anointing and I pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of jesus emeka who is emeka emeka i'm hearing a name emeka overflow three here i'm just talking to overflow three people emeka emeka please quickly please quickly don't waste our time where is that gentleman what's your name i want to pray what do you do I'm going to pray for you. You are not from this place. You came for NYC. I want to pray. Lift your hands. Because I'm seeing, look at me. The Lord is giving you the grace for wealth. Huh? I want you to believe it. But every prosperity that does not have an assignment will end up destroying the people. You love Jesus with all your heart? I want to pray for you. It will surprise you the way God will begin to turn things around in your life. Father, change this gentleman's story in the name of Jesus forever overflow three I'm still praying the spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people I will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh God four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy all of you open your mouth and begin to pray everything you desire overflow three open your mouth and decree open your mouth and decree I'm seeing an anointing around here who is that person I stretch my hands I'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as I'm standing here father let the chains be broken now the anointing of the spirit find that person let the chains be broken right now right now right now right now right now right now be broken now Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here. The Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your shame. I'm seeing light. As I was just passing, I just saw light. Two people. 
let the anointing find those people now two people right now i decree overflow two right now in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of jesus christ who is gabriel 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 i'm hearing a name who is gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around uh, where are you coming from i want to pray for you you love jesus what is is it oleku or aleku what is that huh huh where are you from benway state you are from benway state this is what has tied down your life and your family i want to pray for you i'm not a herbalist there eh? father in the name of jesus let this gentleman be free right now i command that devil to leave you now just keep him there in the name of jesus these two people this gentleman you yes and the lady by you come quickly please low 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory what do you do my friend you're a student you love jesus i want to pray for you huh yes, are you together yes sir because i saw light on husband and wife yes please, sir. well i'm not going to discuss your issue now but two of you need deliverance eh? you love jesus but you need serious deliverance based on what i'm seeing now huh you are not husband and wife yet but i'm seeing a lot of stories father in the name of jesus look at me you're going to be very wealthy but the first thing you need to edit are your friends huh hear what i'm telling you huh my, uh, my sister you know what i'm saying right huh so your friends huh confirm sir listen to me you are not truly born again if your friends don't change hear it from me all this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends if if i am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together i'm close to a drunkard that means i can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by is that true so my friend you love god there eh? but you see um look at what i'm doing one leg in one leg out huh don't be embarrassed when i make the altar call you need to run and come quickly jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to just for no 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 no. Let, let's take god serious and take him look what i see my friend i see god turning your life in a way that will surprise you but friends and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone it's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of a hit or fail god may be calling you to a great ministry but you will hear a counsel that would destroy god's purpose over your life I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the yoke of wrong friends, I stand and I speak right now. May the Lord set you free this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, there is favor on your life, but it's not speaking at all. Hmm? You are a nice lady. Come. I'm looking at you. I'm seeing a young lady, but I'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh. let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh this is a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of god make sometimes 
I can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced I will I will interpret the vision I've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married I will now advise him and say Mr. Man you married a witch oh you do you know what it means to be a witch so God is you see that God is is balancing a lot of things in our lives let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision I already know what is happening it is true that the lady needs help but it doesn't mean imagine that I look at this lady now and say my you're a witch no this is a lovely she has a beautiful heart I already see by the spirit very beautiful heart but it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression it takes the power of God how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves so many of you are here you find out for instance the moment you enter a relationship come for instance as you mean I enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me have you seen that happen I'm doing well in business but just because I married this lady I start going down and now you meet a man of God and if the man, if you are in ministry here please be careful you have to trust God for grace to be balanced are we together I can now look at this lady and say ah your wife is the reason behind your failure um what I'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of God will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we are going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is bring, because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father Hold it with both of your hands. I decree and declare. Ah. I'm seeing fire leaving my hands. In the name of Jesus, I command this devil I'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now. My dear, I set you free and I open the door of favor for you right now. Please, everybody, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I've not seen this in a long time. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing an anointing going to Benway State. Benway State now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is In the name of Jesus. The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus madam I'm going to pray for you two things I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke complete stroke the devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe but we're going to destroy that now in the name of Jesus hold my hands I decree and declare be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit madam I don't know you but ah, you please come ah. this is your first time coming I need to pray for you what do you do ma you are jobless ma huh I'm looking at you and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed I hope I'm not embarrassing you I want to pray for you I give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you i lay my hands right now and i declare i'm seeing chains leaving you i command those chains to go father turn her life around in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please open your mouth and begin to pray hold on hold my hands in the name of jesus christ i open that closed door now i open that closed door now by the power of the holy ghost Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everyone, open your mouth and pray.
the Lord is asking me to stand here just here just to stand here because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here here and here right now here and here I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit every planting that is not of God I uproot it now I uproot it now I uproot it now lift your voice and begin to pray please lift your voice and begin to pray in the name of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray hallelujah praise the Lord I know our time is gone we are going to be very fast sir you're welcome sir can I pray for you sir why are they here priest you sir you are a priest I served, my father served and died and sorry where are you from sir I'm from Mallory sir I want to pray for you the Bible says even the lawful captives even the lawful captives my brothers and my sisters you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service this this woman come madam you yes come please quickly come we're out of time say in jesus name say it in jesus name my life is about to change say it again say in jesus name reproach is leaving me now in the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus' name, sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man, but I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you, your dad, your father is a priest currently. Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed, eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now. Everything they have given you to drink and eat, I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I set you free now. Be gone now. Out! Let it leave her. I'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life. But in the name of Jesus. Kai, Jesus power is really super power. Really super power. That in one moment, something that has been done in a lifetime can live. Out! Now! Everything that is not of God. Her father is a priest, though, not her uncle. Direct father. Imagine how many times... She has been involved in all of these things. But in Jesus' name, you are set free. This, this man too, why is he here? Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. You are receiving the healing anointing now. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, grant him access to the healing anointing. Your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes i honestly wish that this is because there are so many things i see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with God. Your heart with him. Your heart with him. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take away distraction from her life. Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I take away distraction. I take away distraction. Okay? We have we've not even prayed for the sick. Or... My dear, come. This lady waving your hands. Come quickly. Your life is about to change. Come. Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. Yes, I'm here with my husband. Husband, yeah. where are you, sir? Let's clap for the husband. Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. 
you came with for SOM came. I can't remember you came with your oh your son was a graduate of SOM no we came with him oh okay so I'm a graduate I want to pray what do you do sir um, I'm a minister of God while at the same time I do business but it's not sir working. I want to pray for you eh? things are not working you need the anointing you are a sincere man my dear the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now in the name that is above all names I stretch my hands that anointing you will start having dreams receive that grace two of you need empowerment ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of God stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of Jesus you step into a new dimension I take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of Jesus can I pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of Jesus I transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of November sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of Jesus Christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come Oh, 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 I'm seeing you like this and I'm seeing a load on your head and if I don't pray for you this load is going to destroy you I want to pray for you where are you coming from sir? are you new here uh, by Elsa by Elsa hmm. all the way I think we should appreciate them what do you do sir I'm a pastor you're a pastor you're in ministry both of you Evangelist. my ministry is separate your ministry is separate evangelist. but both of you came from yes, by Elsa you are an evangelist yes. You pastor a church? Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Baisa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Baelsa. Do you know what happened? Hmm. Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you because what i see god do through your life i'm seeing god giving you two things the grace for leadership number one number two the grace for finances these two graces god is giving it to you i don't know you sir i'm seeing you for the first time ma you are an evangelist i'm going to pray for you what do you do you hold crusades and all of that no i i usually have meetings every month and then i speak on radio i have a live radio i do my evangelical on radio and then oh you TV. do a live radio yes live radio talk show. three things one barrenness two poverty three witchcraft you are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back don't forget huh the same grace on you i'm seeing it come on this lady this one this one this lady i'm talking to i want to pray for you sir this thing is an election of grace you see i'm i'm also a spectator the same way you are watching me too i'm watching with wonder and shock the way this thing works that god can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of God all the way from Bielsa I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit and I declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and I pray madam the Lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously 
for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers i'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back this thing i'm seeing is going to be a powerful program there is a program in abuja that looks like what you would do it's called when women pray i'm seeing that same kind of grace on you that you are going back to Bielsa and god is giving you uncommon grace for women in the name of jesus I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now madam my God will honor you ah in the name of Jesus supernatural grace drink of that wine sir I'll pray for you the grace for leadership the grace for finance but I'm um, ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do what else do you do I manufacture paint you manufacture paint that's right sir what am I seeing this is somebody it's, it's not directly the government but this is somebody that is connected to the government the lord is going to connect him to you it's, it has something to do with supplies that thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you please write it you will see it happen father in the name of jesus i pray for this man of god i stretch my hands drink of that wine that anointing drink of that wine you will never be the same i stretch my hands I take away every limitation from your life and I decree and I declare your life turns around from today in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Goodness, 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 goodness. Can we still pray for the sick? We can't close this without praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus, be healed from it now. I command that devil, that virus, go now. In the name of Jesus, you go and write your test, bring back your results. Go. Listen, I, can we? Time is gone. Oh dear. You see how sometimes this thing we are really constrained. That's why we do our best. The healing anointing is already flowing. God wants to heal maybe i'll just pray i'll just pray for the sick from here we'll do it that way right but make no mistakes just that you that you are not coming out doesn't mean i want to pray for you now we'll take a few testimonies now in the last three or four months i have seen i don't know why this happens but i have seen a dimension of the healing power of god very creative miracles so i want to pray you are trusting god for a miracle lay your hand right now on your body quickly i want to pray for you now please believe god for a miracle now this is what will happen overflow one two three the roadside and then those following us online our time is gone but as soon as I pray for you now, I pray for you, the power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies, but since we have chosen this method now, as soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that. Um, how many of you brought your prayer request? Let me see. Did you bring your prayer request? Okay, ushers, this is what you, I want you to do. PR department, help them. Protocol, please help them. While I'm praying for the sick, I think we can do it too. Your prayer request. Please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers. Just lift it. The ushers have a system of collecting it. You don't have to be rowdy. Those outside. You can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion. You can have that very quickly, please. Lay your hands now. I want to pray. Jesus.
a lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name please agree with me everyone in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out i'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the holy ghost i curse you now i curse you now say amen i curse you now in the name of jesus i command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in jesus name be healed my god the power of god is touching people already be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of jesus now i command every blood condition be healed from it now in jesus name peptic ulcer the lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps i command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a number of people having um hepatitis the lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the holy ghost eye conditions in the name of jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus every pain that has to do with the bones i decree and declare let the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus i stretch my hands be healed right now in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether i mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you i stretch my hands and i declare be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before i started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside i'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our facebook page or you can find a way to post it i want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and i'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly god bless you check yourself quickly koinonia are you celebrating jesus the lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at god touching people already please make your way make your way the power of god has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies god bless you koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. 
make your way be bold don't be ashamed make your way as soon as the power of god has touched you back pain since hold last on, year hold on just a moment please all make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected please i want you to wave it jesus is still healing people you just come join the queue god bless you yes please back pain since last year can you, you sit for a, a few minutes just sit for a few minutes and then we're done let's just hear the testimonies if as you are hearing the testimony god is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god the... god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's healed now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in jesus name i declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in jesus name give jesus praise deafness in the left ear since 2012 since 2012 oh come on koinonia how long my friend a man of God told me about it in 2012 and I prayed but I was hearing those B sounds and I don't hear really which of them put your hand there now in the name of Jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit yes ulcer you mentioned ulcer, ulcer. how long yes. okay where are you from Kaduna, sir. Kaduna State yes, sir. that's where you are from yes, your state of origin no biologically Biologically, where are you from? I'm from each Patal Court. I mean, I'm from State. There's a reason why I said this. There's a lot. You don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Where? Eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. It's okay i'll talk to you eh? father help this gentleman because this gentleman is a great gentleman but there is a lot i'm seeing in your life i crush the hand of darkness over your life now and i declare be free in jesus also, name koinonia you are pain. not celebrating you are so used to miracles in this place he was feeling the May pain but you. as you prayed for him it left it's gone completely how long Since july july in the name of jesus christ may the lord perfect you Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the lower, lower back pain. It affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain? Yes, it's gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. years. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. It never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. Ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing and your destiny arises, it's a wise baguette. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow two. Sorry. Overflow two. I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left left shoulder since How 2007. How long, my dear? Let her talk. How long? 2007. 
You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus name. She's had serious um, back pain. That back she pain. Had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But today they asked you to ride a gone. horse. Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor? Or just advise us? <laughs> don't, don't listen. She's shy. <laughs> the horse. This is the man. It's amazing how you come for koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? Hi. The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then don't worry, do your horse thing, eh? I'm just happy that you are healed. So you can go and ride your horse now for fun. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, completely perfected. In Jesus' name. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. And I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to. Where eh? Debbie, it's not the this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they'll hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying He is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but He is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. Is by the anointing. The Spirit entered me when He spake unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family. In the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead. She's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating that resulted in serious back pain. How Came old are you now? Pain this evening. Sir? How old are you now? 21. 21? And she's had severe menstrual pain? Yes. And she came here with the pain today. But the Don't pain believe is that thing, oh. In the name of Jesus, I cancel it forever. Amen. Say amen. amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's... The heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as you pray, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back, eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Eh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card, eh? Send it to your mother to bless her and watch what happens in your life. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic healed. ulcer. How long? Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus, goes to hell forever. She also had ulcer, but she also had kidney inflammation. She used to feel a sharp pain. She's been healed of the ulcer. Now when she presses the place before press she it. would feel, press it. Press it. Any pain? No pain. Gone completely. No. Come on, Koinonia. May God forgive you. May God... You people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that... God bless you. He had a sharp pain in his left side. Okay. You mentioned it. And then he also used to experience dizziness. That he would just be standing, be dizzy, and then slump. But as you prayed for him, he was totally you just slump like that? Yeah, they may even have to catch it. It happened, it happened once, August, August 26th. You just slump like that? Yes, I was falling and then my brother caught me. Come. What if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire? The devil will just wait until you are crossing a bridge 
then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal to kill and to destroy in jesus name i set you free you are free now you are free forever in jesus name back pain disappeared he's had back pain for a long time back pain gone. sir yes in jesus name let it go and go forever never to return again in sometimes the two eyes go blind other times only the right one go blind but now he's totally healed he can see with both eyes have you gone to the hospital for this but sometimes you just go blank like that come in the name of jesus put your hands on your eyes i decree and declare perfection for you by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ he's had back pain for a long time he's healed now back pain you see god is when there are messages behind miracles you see that god is healing a lot of back pain because it's a revelation it's not just the bones are what give structures to a person doctors tell us that means that by this miracle god is speaking through it right like he's doing the miracle of ezekiel 37 the bones coming back it took the bones to come back for an army to rise therefore i'm praying that everything that is out of order out of joint out of place in your life by the anointing that is characterized by these miracles let there be a restoration of it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you yes please go ahead so back pain he came here with waist pain sorry waist pain he came here with how long serious pain 2014 and now he's gone. try to turn it's gone he Completely. squatted for me and um, no squat you've not you did it for him yes. you didn't do it for me ah, <laughs> it looks like a footballer gone and gone forever in jesus name apostle you mentioned so he's laughing on, until he fell under the anointing a buzzing sound in his left ear and he couldn't hear yes, oh okay you mentioned it and he was hearing the buzzing sound all through but as you mentioned it it's gone the now buzzing stuff what's your name sir hear. since 2014 for the past four years it's gone completely the left ear give totally jesus praise healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power of God, never, never, never returns to you again. Apostle, her left hand, the middle finger, she couldn't bend it at all. She has gone for treatment. She couldn't bend it Which at one? all. Which one? The middle finger. Longest How long? Last year. Why couldn't you bend it? I don't know. I bend it now. Let them see it. Look at this. And then as you were praying for the lady with menstrual pain, she also had, as you were praying right now, she came for the testimony. The menstrual pain also left. Let it go back to hell Amen. and never come to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. She had weak. Your father's salvation. Ah, we are experts in praying for salvation here. You need to find out how God saves people here. When you, it's not that God saves them. It's how he saves them. That is a sign and a wonder. I was preaching the series on um, reality of heaven and hell. And there was one malam. He came for koinonia. He was seated outside. And while I was praying, he, he was studying his, 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 his let me study your IRK or what? He was studying something like that. And then all of a sudden, he just, I mean, koinonia just disappeared. And he saw a vision of heaven outside, overflow one. And the Lord Jesus was talking to him. That's how the guy got born again. Remember years ago. The gentleman that came here, that gentleman that belonged to a cult group, you, you know the, the guy, that funny guy that came outside thinking that this is some harbourless place. As soon as I climbed here, all that the guy saw was, I hope he's still in Christ. But as far as, <laughs> yes, the one that slept three days on a graveyard to get power. And so when he was here and saw power, he said, ah, there's power here. Whether it's demonic power or God's power, there's really power here in the name of jesus there is grace that saves men we declare that your father comes to the genuine saving knowledge of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ she had weakness you. was ill when we take the last person that would be also that we can yes, in overflow three witness overflow three. for the pain so as you went outside and you minister ah, she fell under god the power visited god. overflow three today oh this miracle service was for overflow three as she fell under the power she stood up perfectly whole. completely it's gone in the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, please, go ahead. She said she was feeling headache and then generally she wasn't feeling fine. But and as you prayed, come, my dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, it goes here. Can, her body is even hot. You can see that her body she is ill, cough, she, but everything is 
in the name of Jesus Christ. It goes forever. Next person, okay. please. He's had um, back pain for a while. During the seven days fasting program, yes. he was healed. But yesterday, the symptoms came back. But right now, he has been permanently healed. What, what was the issue, sir? Back pain. Back pain. Come. You see, the, you see the, the thing again I'm telling you? Miracles are messages in Jesus' name. Back pain goes and goes forever. Yes, she's please. had serious kata since 2010 that lasted for three years. Is it that kata? And came back again, but right now she's completely healed. Completely healed. Put your hand on your chest. Lord Jesus, let this lady be perfected now, perfected forever. I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Forever healed, forever perfected. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's bringing restoration restoration to your life in Jesus now, name. Now, he's had back pain since 2006 and then hmm. as he sat there and you mentioned the case, he believed he was healed but the symptoms were still there. Yes. While he stood up from there to come here, the symptoms disappeared. That's number because one. Because God will always honor faith. Come my friend. Then the second thing was that he had this chest pain, he had done his ECG scan and they told him they were going to place him on hypertension drugs. But while he stood here, the pains disappeared. The heaviness left. Hypertension, back to sender. Back to the devil that sent it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes. Please. Her grandfather died of this ulcer pain. Her father has it. Her sister has it. And then she's also seeing the symptoms. But tonight, when the case was mentioned, she was completely healed. You see... This, these are the kinds of cases where it's not just a healing for the person. Grandfather died of it. You said father has it. Father has it. Mother, sister has, sister has it. it. Yes. Aunties. Yes. Everybody has it. Most of my aunties. My, my younger sister, my dad, just all of us. Like where are you from? I'm from Delta State. Delta State. In the name of Jesus, a beautiful lady, the devil should not rubbish your destiny. I can't sue this yoke not just over your life but over your family in the name of jesus is gone now and gone forever in jesus you mentioned name. back pain apostle she came for personal prayers last week just on her own personal um, prayers as she was going back she felt like an arrow was shot in her back since last week she has been having that pain but as you mentioned it, hold my hands in the name of jesus look at me look at me shout jesus jesus Yes, she had this pain in her chest and her stomach. She suspected it Our was lovely ulcer. Osha, you can imagine how hard, how wonderful, okay? She was suspecting it was ulcer, but she has never gone for diagnosis. But as you mentioned, the heaviness and the pain, Put everything your hand just on your left chest. in her stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that that devil goes back to hell. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus stand. praise. Now, everyone, please stand. Everyone, please stand. Oh, they're still... He's had a very mysterious headache, heaviness that just disappeared now as you mentioned the case. In the name of Jesus, come my friend. It never returns to you again. Every other person that has been touched by the power of God, we declare perfection for your body now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, I want you to stretch, I want you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request. Stretch your hands and I want you to begin to declare that as you have dropped this request now in the name that is above all names the only thing you are permitted to pick is your testimony lift your voice and declare it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost Embra po shoto prete kete e karo sakatosh kalabos en taro sekete kete kete. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over this request. We decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, let impossible situations. Please make sure everybody's request is here. Let impossible situations go. Please agree by faith as you pray. We are laying our hands on this request in the name of Jesus. Jacos Kaprakato Shadebakata Embrekete Koto Shabragados Father in the name of Jesus This is a representation of the faith of your people You are the God that answers prayers I ask oh God that you arise Arise in power 
arise in majesty arise in grace in the name of jesus turn the lives of your people around turn the lives of your people around turn the lives of your people around hallelujah i stand upon this request prophetically and i agree with you for some of you the things you have written here the truth is that only god can do them there's no man born of a woman that can do it in fact if you read some of the things for us even us who god has helped will have to doubt and say ah but thank god that the request is unto god father we present before you this request and in the name of jesus i declare that this request has supernaturally turned to testimonies they are supernaturally turned to testimonies in the name of jesus christ please stand if you can and receive the last prophecy and impartation I will continue to speak over your life and I will continue to release the anointing on your destiny until, until your life becomes a picture of everything that God has said. Therefore, please, I want you to humble yourself and open up your heart and your spirit. There is a lady you have been seeing You have been seeing yourself carrying children in dreams this is almost all most of your dreams that's all you are breastfeeding children you are carrying children you are with babies in the name of jesus every fraternity every fraternity with the gate of darkness in the name of jesus i'm praying for those people first i command that devil to leave you now once and for all once and for all hallelujah i'm praying for someone else i don't know why god is interrupting me now there is no night that you sleep without somebody coming to molest you i'm saying once you go to bed somebody must come to molest you whether it's a man whether it's a woman whether it's an animal that must happen to you you get up and physical things begin to be misplaced i'm praying right now for those people that this word is for in the name of jesus by the fire that comes from the throne of god i declare you and that demonic spirit be delivered now once and for all in the name of Jesus now I pray for you if there is anyone here called into ministry or anyone here in ministry but you are not seeing the signs the wonders the results that befit the anointing where are you I pray for you I stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names I prophesy to your life catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire he makes his ministers wings he makes his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire therefore I speak over your life catch fire healing fire deliverance fire breakthrough fire let it come upon you now in the name of Jesus now i speak over every crippled destiny you are trying to make progress and move but something is pinning you down and keeping you in one place in the name that is above all names by the power of the prophetic i shift you to the next level of your life please believe it i shift you to the next level of your life
for all those in business here and you're trusting God to stabilize you are up today and down tomorrow I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names may the grace for strange favor may the grace for favor come upon your business and lift you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ every helper that must show up between now and October miracle service listen you heard the testimony of the gentleman here it just takes one genuine helper genuine sent by God I pray for you and I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ listen every family here that is saying Lord when will you visit us when will you wipe our tears when will you take reproach from our lives I'm declaring to you now by the force of favor may the Lord turn your family's life around right now anyone here called barren or you are connected to anyone you know trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus we release their miracle children now I'm praying for anyone here trusting God for a job you are trusting God for a job or you have loved ones that are trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus I agree with you that between now and October miracle service return with your testimony the kind of favor ah, the favor that can turn your life overnight around I decree and declare may that favor and that grace locate you and turn your life around hallelujah now I want you to say amen to this prayer that I want to pray for you the problem that only you will have the anointing and the grace to solve that will pick you and bring you to notoriety in the name of Jesus from the depth of my heart may that anointing come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 help that mama please listen your relevance is defined by the solutions you provide so when God wants to help you he will carry Joseph and put in him an ability to interpret Pharaoh's dream Joseph interpreted the dream of the buckler nothing happened when you interpret the dream of a man of influence you will not remain in the prison I pray for you again the grace the grace that will cause you to solve the problem of one who has the influence and the capacity to bless you receive that grace in the name of Jesus anyone here or your family members due for promotion and have been kept down either by tribalism or religion or some kind of devilish factors in the name that is above all names we declare their promotion here we declare their promotion now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now I agree with you whether I uniquely mentioned your issue or not whatever it is you came here believing in the name that is above all names I stretch my hands and I agree with you let it return to you as a speedy testimony yeah. hallelujah yeah. 
Lord, in this month of October, I'm, not, I'm, I'm the one asking for you. Father, a dimension of financial increase that your people have not seen. This has nothing to do with what you are doing. On, I'm praying for you. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you. May my God bring supplies to your life this month in a way that will bring tears of joy to your eyes. Finally, I pray for you. I don't know what dimension in the spirit you are crying that God brings you into. For some of you, God has helped you in the area of revelation. But you truly need the gifts of the spirit to work in your life. For some of you, you have seen the gifts of the spirit work, but you need a higher dimension. For some of you, you need comprehension into the word of God. For some of you, you need the grace for prayer. You are not lazy. The grace is just not there. For some of you, you need faith and courage. Capacity to believe God for impossible things. It doesn't matter what category. I stretch my hands and I declare. Whatever spiritual blessing you desire. I stretch my hands to you now. Let it come upon you right 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 now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it come upon you right now. I'm still praying it. Let it come upon you. Prophetic fire. Let it come upon you. Visions and dreams. Visions and dreams. Let it come upon you. The grace to interpret visions and dreams. Let it come upon you. The gifts of healing, let it come upon you. Tongues, interpretation of tongues. The gifts of wisdom. The gifts of leadership, administration. Let it come upon you in Jesus' name. Father, we give you thanks. We thank you. I decree and declare. The blessing that is upon Nigeria. The grace that has made Nigeria indestructible after 58 years. May that same grace keep your life intact. If Nigeria is not dead after 58 years, I forbid death from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus. You heard the prayer of our dear lady here, the sister that came requesting for her father. In the name of Jesus, listen carefully. I know we are trying to settle down. In the name of Jesus, that lady, I curse the spirit. That, that lady you are with. I command that devil. Let her go now. Look at the kind of wild, wild spirit. These are the kinds of spirits that, that make people manifest as stubborn. It doesn't mean they are bad when a stubborn spirit is working in your life it will reflect that's why you find out that they don't listen no matter what you tell them they never listen these are the spirits in the name of Jesus Christ dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God our man of God Apostle Joshua Salmon and that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.